All right, 447, guys. We are tracking snow out there. You can certainly see it out there in Carmel. Uh, snow on the ground. It looks like some of the sidewalks have been cleared out. Looks like maybe one plow has come through. So uh, roads are snow covered again. Not a huge event, but already an inch, maybe two on the ground in some locations. These darker bands are setting up as well. That could put down a quick half an inch, and it's a light powdery snow. Uh, that will continue off and on throughout the morning and into the afternoon. So we're going to be in and out of this stuff, it looks like, throughout the entire day. Uh, so when everything is said and done, we'll probably end up with about one to maybe as much as three inches of snow on the ground in some locations. Still tracking a wintry mix down near Houston and more of that rain and snow now heading out through the Appalachians. But we got our own issues out there certainly to contend with uh, heading out uh, the door to begin our Thursday morning rush hour. So up to two inches by sunrise. Uh, certainly it will be slick in spots and school delays will be going up here. Look for that list to grow. Medium impact on the roadways. Uh, just extra time is going to be needed uh, this afternoon. Pockets of snow and still remains cold. Another day running well below average here. We're in kind of record territory. Uh, for the month of February, the terms of how cold it has been. It'll be interesting to see how the rest of the month plays out. One to three, as I mentioned here, across uh, downtown and across our eastern, northeastern, and southeastern counties. That's where the highest totals will set up. Uh, 17, our current temperature outside. Northeasterly winds at 10 miles an hour. Because of that, wind chills are back down into the single digits here to begin our morning down to one in Kokomo. I guess it's a little better than those sub zero readings we had yesterday, but still harsh conditions continue and snow will continue to fall as well. Another day where we'll only top out at about 25 degrees here in downtown. So the snow hangs around on through the morning and afternoon. In fact, we'll stop it here around uh, 1230, still tracking pockets of light snow. It will begin to taper down. It looks like after the evening rush hour, we're back to dry conditions tomorrow. We may enjoy a little sunshine tomorrow. I think the clouds will start to increase throughout the day. So our best chance of sunshine likely will be early tomorrow morning and then heading into Saturday, more dry weather. In fact, the weekend looks pretty much completely dry. That wintry mix now likely not to get here. It looks like until late Sunday night now and into early on Monday. Another thing to point out, we could actually get up to 33 on Sunday, finally getting above freezing. If that happens, that means 16 days in a row of temperatures running below freezing here. 40s, though, they are on the horizon Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Could get as warm as 46, it looks like, by Wednesday of next week. Brent?